Hello again. Today we are going to make a very easy example to see how these processes are going with. It will be very easy example to see how to apply load and how to reach the solutions. All right. First of all, let's open a static structural template and check our unit systems from here. If you want, you can change this name with double clicking on it and type something that you want. I already taught you how to define materials. I won't define a material for this example. Uh, let's right click on geometry and open design modular. We will uh, so basically beam system and let's assume uh, on side is uh, one side is fixed and apply a tension load on other side opposite side and we will see stress and deformations as solutions all right it's opening right now okay it's I think it's opened firstly uh, select your plane and create a new sketch after that uh, to get better view Click here. If you want from here, you can go create and add a box. Or we can go sketch and section and draw a rectangular. Let's draw a rectangular like that and give it some dimensions. These two dimensions will be enough for us. Uh, let's say um, 50 millimeter for V1 and 100 millimeter uh, for H2. Uh, so we've got a simple sketch. Let's go back to modeling and extrude it. From here, select the sketch and apply it. Now, how many millimeters we will extrude? Uh, but we forgot to change our unit systems, although I told it very beginning, so it's my bad, but not a big deal. So we are working with matter and let's say one matter and generate it. By the way, I've just realized from here, now we can change our unit systems and arrange our dimensions again. Change it. Okay, we generate it now. Okay, the sketch is so far away now. We need to use zoom fit command. If you press F7, you can use this command. If you use right click like that, uh, you can also zoom in. I don't care about the geometry shape for this example. It's not important for now. And um, now, we can, I think we can finally go mechanical section. First, uh, let me close, let me close this one. Uh, we can double click on model or right click and select edit. Uh, now we are waiting for it. All right, guys, welcome to the mechanical section. Here is the geometry, as you can see, the first thing that we should look at model section. Geometry is here and here is the solid body. Now look at details of solid. In assignment, structure is still defined as defaults. If you define any materials, you need to choose from here for each body. You can see materials that you defined from material section. Coordinate systems is here as global coordinate system. Uh, you can change the view with clicking arrows. For now, let's mesh with, uh, but before, let's go mesh section. We will see this section with details. For now, uh, let's mesh with default settings. To do it, you can generate here or uh, right click and generate mesh. 
we all get a mesh in accordance with default settings. Here we go. Since we have a simple geometry, mesh quality looks appropriate. Uh, so far so good. All right. Uh, now let's fix the surface and apply a tension load to the opposite surface. By the way, these rotating things, I'm making it with clicking well and moving my mouse. Now, for example, click your well on a surface, you will see a red point there. And after you move your mouse with clicking well, this body will rotate around this red point. As I showed in Design Modular, you can move it the same way. And also you can zoom in and out with same way. And with right click and choose an area so you can zoom in the area. And you missed your body, just press F7. Now let's continue, let's define our boundary conditions. We assume that we are going to fix the surface. Go static structure and right click and go insert. We can select fix it support from here. Or as you can see here, there's support section and fix support is here. Let's select it. Now it's saying us you need to define a geometry. And since we click on this surface, it's already applied the surface. But I don't want this surface to be fixed. I want this surface to be fixed. If you select it, and don't have a face here, check your selection options from here. If the body is enabled, when you click it, you will get all body. With edge, you can select just edge and vertex. We need to select a face and pick the surface. We selected it and came to geometry and click face and apply it. So it's changed now. You can see here it with blue area. Actually, it should be completely blue, but we see like that because of my laptops. Okay, we applied first boundary condition. In static structure, the most important thing uh, is the body has to be in equilibrium. Otherwise, we can't reach the solution. So now, the body is not in space, it's fixed here. Second thing, what we said, we will apply a force from the opposite surface. Now again, right click and insert, you can select force. In this section, you can see all option loads, displacements, etc. Or we have also same options here. If you select the face, and then click force, geometry will be defined automatically. If you, if you just click force, it wants, uh, it wants us to select geometry first. Let's see that. Okay. Uh, let's click our geometry and apply. Now we will define the magnitude. I don't define as vector, that's why uh, just change it to components from here. Now we can define X, Y, and Z coordinates separately. Let's assume minus 50 kN in Z axis. I said minus because look at this Z axis arrow. It's going left, so with this geometry, left means positive, and I wanted to apply a tension load, so I need to apply force to right. If you type 50 kN, it will be compression load. That's why it's negative. And green tick here, that means applied. And I want to show that so quickly, you can select a face, right click, insert, and apply a force. All right, we defined the boundary conditions. In this section, we are applying boundary conditions and loads. After that, we can go solutions section. If you wish, uh, you can click Sol before you go to check if I read something wrong or any warning. Uh, it will make you use your time more efficiently. Uh, so let's wait. So we have no errors. Now let's go solution section.
what do we want to see as results we set deformation go deformation and select total and then we said uh, that will check stress mostly we are checking uh, one misses criteria so let's select it and now we can solve our problem just click on solve and okay all right uh, total deformation is here our unit is millimeters and max and minimum displacement you can see from here uh, you can expand these values by clicking the plus sign and give your attention colors changing you see with the animation section you can press play and see what's going on uh, let's look at it from x axis so we said the formation is just 0.02 but this body is going much more than it why is it here there is a there's case options it's an exaggeration animation if you want to see the real deformation you can select the true skill but it will be very hard to see changing 0.2 millimeters that's why we need an exaggerated animation so the deformation is like that and i wonder where is the maximum deformation uh, to see that click maximum so maximum deformation is here and we, key, we can see the minimum as the same way. If I select probe, I can see the formation where my mouse is. I wanted to see here to show my report. As you can see, the point the formation is seen. If I want, if I don't want to see, uh, to delete it, go label and choose probes that you want and delete and press delete. All right, we need to go single select from here. Let's check the equivalent stress. The maximum is 11.9 megapascal. And you can watch it as an animation and the value of stress is, is so small, right? And uh, in addition to, uh, we can check uh, from here, we can check force reaction, click probe and click force reaction. We applied a tension load here and there will be a reaction force here. I wanted to see it. Let's, let's select boundary conditions as fixed support that we will see force reactions here. And of course we need to get 50 kN. We know that uh, but for more complex geometry, we can check with this way. You can see here is as total. And all right. And okay, let me let me fix this. All right. Now we did our examination, and let's assume we've got two big stress value. Let's go to engineering data section. Our material is structural steel, right? And let's check tensile and compression ultimate strength and yield strength. Our tensile yield strength is 250 megapascal and our stress is 11.9 megapascal. If we find this around 250 megapascal, we have to evaluate the solutions as engineers. Right now, we don't have to do that. All right, I wanted to show you mechanical sections with an easy example. So that's it for this video. I hope you got it. Stay tuned.